hi everyone this is nessa welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video i'm making this video because i get a lot of questions on how to become a flight attendant so if you're interested please stay tuned and let's jump right into it it's like a test that i feel so depressed when i can't seem to get out but something deep inside won't let me I can only speak for the United States because the requirements and process might be different for international airlines. This process is very lengthy, so you have to be patient to go through all the process, you know. The first step is to apply. There are so many airlines in the U.S. that you can apply to. We have Delta, Alaska, Frontier, southwest american united and so on you can apply to any of them you just have to go on to their website and check if they are hiring so you can apply also if you are fluent in a different language that the airline is looking for it is a plus for you because it can possibly help you get the job even faster the next step is to do the assessment. This is where they ask you a whole lot of weird questions and it's either you agree or disagree to them. It's a long assessment, trust me, but if you really want this job, you're gonna get it done. Number three, if you pass that part of the application process, then you will be moved on to the next step, which is the video interview. You guys, you have to take this part very serious. You have to dress the part, you have to you know, make sure your hair looks good, everything is on point because the next step depends on this. You have to make sure your makeup is on point. And for the men, you have to make sure you are well groomed because it is what it is. It's an interview. You have to look the part. All I can say is wear a suit, period. That's all you need. The next step is the face-to-face -face interview. This part scares me a lot because first off, I hate interviews, but you have to go through it anyway. Make sure you don't take this interview lightly because this is your time to shine and you're going to meet a whole lot of people. So you have to stand out. So you have to show them you are a professional. Trust me, the moment you set foot in that building, somebody is watching you. And that is where the interview starts because you're going to meet people. They want to see that you are friendly and you can socialize with other people. It depends on the airline, but I do know that they always fly you out to wherever they're having the interview. You don't have to be fake, just be yourself because trust me, for some reason, they always see right through you. So keep note. You gotta be friendly and also you have to try to know everybody because it's part of the job. You you are going to meet a whole lot of people on your flight. So you should be somebody who is sociable and personable. And somebody anybody can just, you know, walk up to and talk to. Then when you make it through your face-to-face -face interview, they're going to send you your CJO, which is the conditional job offer. Believe me, the CJO does not mean you have the job is conditional they are going to send you over to training and then when you pass everything then you have the job sometimes training is paid and sometimes it's unpaid depending on the airline also it usually takes four to eight weeks for training to be over please note if you do not pass your flight attendant training they're gonna send you back home and everything will be for nothing that's why I said the CJO is not a guarantee that you have the job. It's conditional. So you have to pass through all the training and pass all your tests before you can officially become a flight attendant. After you pass training, then congratulations, you passed, you made it. You're now officially a flight attendant. Yay! I know it's exciting. Then you can go home and celebrate with your folks because your hard work paid off now you're gonna go out there and start working they're going to put you on reserve reserve means you only know your days off and crew scheduling has total control over your schedule so you can't move your days around you can't do much about your schedule because you are on probation so that's how it works you you are going to be on reserve and trust me, cruise scheduling is going to use you like crazy. 
because that's why they hired you. They need people to work. So now let's move on to the requirement to become a flight attendant. Like I said before, I'm only going to talk about the United States because I really don't know much about the international airlines. So let's move on to the first requirement. You have to be eligible to work in the United States. You can be a citizen or you can be a permanent resident or have a green card. You are still eligible to work in the United States. Let's say they fly you out of the country you should be able to come back in and that's why you need that also you don't necessarily have to be a citizen to become a flight attendant if you have if you're a green card holder you can be a flight attendant because you are still eligible to work in the united states number two you have to be at least 21 years of age number three you have to at least have a high school diploma or equivalent you don't necessarily have to have a college degree or go to a flight attendant school or aviation school to become a flight attendant. It's only going to add up, but it's not a requirement. Number four, they're going to conduct a background check and a drug test on you. It's a requirement. Whether you like it or not, they're going to do it. Number five, you must be willing to relocate. Let me tell you, every airline has a whole lot of bases. So you might not be based wherever you live. So it's either you relocate or you commute, which can be very stressful sometimes. But if you really want to be a flight attendant, you got to make it work. Number six, customer service experience is a plus. And number seven, uh, let's talk about the physical aspect. So in my opinion, I don't think the airlines have a specific weight or size for flight attendants. You just have to be able to fit into the jump seat, period. And also, you have to be able to move about the cabin. The next step is you don't have to have any visible tattoos, which means you can have tattoos, but they cannot be showing. So whenever you put your uniform on, it has to cover all your tattoos. Then also, the job requires frequent standing and frequent walking. So you have to be very energetic to do all that because you're going to be standing for a long time. Also, pay varies by every airline and we also get paid per diem as well all right guys this is all i have for you today if you have any more questions just let me know in my comment section down below and i'll be glad to answer them for you guys good luck on this journey and thank you so much for watching if you found this video helpful and informative please don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe like and share this video thank you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye, everyone.